Hi, I'm Luke Sierveld. Welcome to another episode of Meet the Gaffer. Let's talk about wireless lighting control. Now, a number of manufacturers are starting to build in wireless control into their units, like Kinoflow and Cineo, and others have control built in, but not wireless. So you've got you know ins and outs for five pin uh, DMX cables, but um, sometimes it'd be nice to have wireless control of those units as well. Well, um, let me show you a little starter pack that I've got that I'm just starting to learn. And, um, you know, we're all having to kind of learn this stuff because uh, now we don't have the heavy dimmer packs that we have to, you know, roll around. Uh, we've got the dimmers already built into the lights. So we've got these little computers with built-in dimmers, and now we're able to control those. So uh, let me just show you a couple different ways of doing that, that I'm learning. And uh, believe me, I'm a newbie at this but um, uh, it's kind of fun, you know, it's new stuff. So uh, innovative dimmers, they make this little starter pack uh, that's kind of handy. Uh, they're creating um, Centena uh, receivers and transmitters. They've got an AKS uh, transmitter as well, and they're using Lumen Radio uh, technology, which I think the other manufacturers are using as well to incorporate into their units. So this little starter pack is kind of cool. Um, it, uh, there's a place to uh, just plug in regular uh, power, a uh, little AC here, and that uh, provides a little USB power uh, in, in, in the pack. So in this little setup, uh, what I purchased was um, a couple receivers. So I've got two receivers that uh, require uh, internal battery. Um, or have internal battery. You can also uh, plug them in to uh, USB or to uh, regular Edison power. Um, but um, so that's handy. It's like a it says 14 plus hours lithium ion. Uh, so if you have a um, a unit like um, an Astra that doesn't have uh, USB power on it, uh, you can put one of these on it and control it. Uh, and then I have just the regular receiver that requires a USB power to run. And so these are great for sky panels, uh, which have a USB right there. And then uh, in this hole is a, is a transmitter that looks the same, has the same form factor, but it's a transmitter. And so I've got this hooked up to a little DMX at, at 12, uh, 12 channel uh, box. And so uh, that's what I have the lights on here in the room. And I'm just running a, uh, a Select 30 Kinoflow and an, an Astra. And those are, um, uh, well, the uh, Select 30 has the built-in wireless. So that hooked right up to this, no problem. And then I've got a wire going from uh, the Select 30 Kino to the Astra. And, um, and so, you know, um, that is uh, that's just hardwired. Now I, I could have put the battery operated one, but I wanted to show you these units first. So um, anyway, this is just a simple way of doing of working with 12 channels. So right now I've got four channels going to the Select 30, and then there's two channels to the Astra, and then I've got another Astra that uh, you know um, also has uh, uh, two channels. So this is a simple way if you don't have that many units you don't need that many channels boom easy right um, whereas this is for a little more complex setup so uh, let me just show you the aks uh, transmitter it's got a little belt clip on it so it's got an internal battery and you can hook this on your belt or on your clipboard or whatever uh, and uh, walk around with it so um, once the you know the battery inside has been uh, charged up, then uh, it's it's good to go. Um, but I'm just going to hook everything up here um, locally, so you can see how how it works. So it's got a little uh, USB uh, hookup, and then that goes into the the box here, and then we'll just pump these up. 
And then it's got this uh, cable that you can hardwire your iPad up to. Um, or you can go wireless through that uh, from this to your iPad as well. So uh, it's all very portable, which is great. Um, okay. So I've got two sky panels behind me on this uh, uh, 12 uh, foot uh, white uh, seamless. And uh, I'm going to hook up uh, one of these guys, one of these uh, uh, Centena receivers. So Centena receiver. I'm going to hook that up to one of the sky panels and then uh, jumper with a regular DMX five pin cable uh, over to the other one. Uh, and, um, and then we'll, we'll show you some, um, uh, how you can control it with your, uh, Luminaire app. So the 12 foot seamless is going to be uh, lit by these, uh, sky panels down here. And you can see that the, uh, uh, wireless receiver has been put into the DMX port and then powered by the, uh, USB. And then there's a hard wire, uh, DMX right next to it. And then that, uh, is jumping over to the uh, sky panel next to it. Now I've got these uh, upside down uh, so that the uh, cables are you know, not being crunched and easier to get to. And the uh, controller uh, interface can be uh, uh, turned uh, on its head so that you can uh, read it even when the unit is upside down. So let's go ahead and turn on one of these units. And uh, let me just show you the, uh, the menu settings here. And it comes on nice and bright and so there you can see um, and we'll go into menu mode there's our menu there's our menu and that's the DMX setting there and so uh, the address is 001 and then if we go uh, like that and then we go back and we'll go down to the protocol. So there, uh, let's see what the protocol is. And it is at one. And so that's good for uh, Luminaire. It takes about eight channels. Now, if we wanted to use this with DMX at 12, then we would change this to uh, protocol three. But we don't want that right now. So we'll go to one and then we'll go back, back and back. And so, um, there you go. All right, we'll turn the other one on. So that shows you how these are set up down below like that on the, uh, the white seamless. And then just to give you a little overview of what the setup is here, I've got a, uh, an LX10 uh, for the over-the-shoulder shot. And then uh, there's the Select 30 and an Astra, Astra, and those are all controlled by the uh, DMX at 12. So that's our simple little setup here. All right, so we've uh, turned the sky panels on, but they're still under local control. So we want to bring them to remote control uh, via the, the, um, this setup wirelessly. All right, so uh, we're going to turn this uh, AKS on and uh, turn the power button on in the middle here. And we'll hold it for three seconds and then uh, it'll make that handshake. So now uh, we need to uh, check our uh, Wi-Fi setup. So we'll turn on Luminaire and we'll turn on, oh, so it's already made the connection. So let's just check uh, our Wi-Fi and we'll pick the AKS and open Luminaire, and now we have uh, control of um, of our units. So now you know we can, uh, if uh, if we put on our blue here, then we've got that background. We can go to another scene, to another scene, <laughs> and uh, you know these are pretty super garish and all, but. Uh, uh, I can change the color. This 
easily. You know, I can move it to there, I can move it to there, uh, move it to there. So, you know, it's um, really easy to, to change the color to anything you want and then, you know, set up scenes and, and away you go. So uh, maybe just take down that uh, lovely color and um, uh, that's a little more palatable. Anyway, uh, that gives you an idea of just, you know, uh, how you can get control with uh, this sort of small setup. And uh, because the lights already have the dimmers, you don't have any extra dimmer packs. This is it, this and the lights. So this kind of setup for color and uh, a lot more channels. And then this kind of setup for, you know, 12 channels. So hope that's been helpful. Uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you again next time. Just an example of how this can be really helpful is uh, a year ago when the Super Bowl was here, uh, I had a sky panel on sort of a generic backdrop and uh, we were doing um, MVPs of past Super Bowls. And so the producer was like, oh, hey, can we uh, change the color on the backdrop to fit you know, the jersey that the guy wore when, when he was uh, playing? And I was like, uh, yeah, you know, and I, I had the roll of gel, but, uh, then, uh, duh, I realized I could just dial it in uh, on the unit, and uh, wow, was that easy. So I didn't have this set up at the time. I had to do it locally. But um, uh, to have this, you could just sit by camera and go, how does that look? And that's pretty nice.